What's up, party animals? My name is Kezi, and today we're talking about the SP404 Mark II. Now, I sold a lot of my gear, and one of the things that I sold was my Akai Force, which was a powerful sampler by the legendary Akai. I wanted to like it so much, because Akai, big legends, they make the MPC, and it just wasn't what I had hoped it would be. From its lack of portability, to its giant size, to it kind of just relying so heavily on the touchscreen, it never felt like it was super inspiring. Now, for certain people, it's a great instrument, and they love it, and I support them in having it. But it just wasn't for me, someone who wanted to go out and adventure into the world, and do things on the spot, in the moment. And that's exactly what the SP404 does. From its compact size and super duper portability to its rugged nature. And the SP404 has a thriving community that dates back to the 90s when the SP line of products was originally announced. I want to talk about its compact size and portability, which has been a staple of the SP line since its inception. For the first one was battery powered, and this one is too. It is so fun to use, I feel like I can just pick it up and start jamming on it wherever I am. I even got like a little tiny speaker to, to plug into one of the jacks, so I can play it anywhere now. So because I can sample anything, even just recently I brought it to Furvana. They had their guitar with them. I just had them plug it in, plugged it out to a pair of speakers that a friend of uh, that a friend had and started recording and we had a little jam session together. And it was awesome. I loved using it. It was such an inspiration to be able to use it on the move like that. And it didn't really feel like it was a huge burden, like taking the Akai Force would have been. Needing power supplies and adapters and cables and this, that, and the other thing. Just having the SP, such a fun time. It's not a complicated device. And the ease of being able to go from recording to sampling is incredible. I love being able to just go from you know, putting in audio to having it be able to be played back on a pad. Such a breeze when the Akai Force had 10, 20 different steps you had to take, it's about three button presses before you're ready to play. And if you wanna chop it up, add just a few more for how many chops you wanna make. It's that easy. I love it so much. It's so easy, so portable, and I would be remiss to not mention how rugged it is. The thing is solidly built. It has some weight to it. I am in love with the fact that I don't feel stressed out about putting it into a bag. I don't feel like I need to wrap it up in towels or get a fancy case for it. I just toss it in there and it's good to go. The buttons all feel solid, the faceplate is actually metal, and the whole rest of the unit, while plastic, doesn't feel brittle. It feels very, it, everything feels quality. It even ditched the RCA jacks of prior generations and has full sturdy quarter inch jacks now. I think that's phenomenal and I love using it. And again, I don't feel afraid when I use it. I can put it anywhere and not kind of worry that it's gonna be, oh no, the screen might crack. Cause the cover, there's a cover on the screen that is, again, super durable. I won't worry about any scratches or marks or anything like that. And the metal faceplate is actually uh, removable, which made it super convenient for being able to add stickers. And there's even like so many custom skins you can get online because, The community for the SP404 is massive, and like I said before, has existed since its inception in the 90s. For, for decades, it's been a cult classic of a sampler. Firstly, what, what tipped me off is that it is so easy to customize the instrument because there's so many people making making skins, uh, custom knobs, custom pads even, if you're willing to go that route. So many things, ways you can make the SP404 your own, and even Roland ad added some ways you can add your own logo to the startup, which I think is super cool. And there's a screensaver that shows your own custom stuff as well. There's so many discussion forums online, and so many people, even in person, have SP404 meetups. 
because it's just that powerful of an instrument. With the Akai Force, I felt like I was alone in learning it, and that sucked. While I think it was a powerful tool, it didn't really do what I wanted it to do, and the community wasn't really behind it. Not like the SP404, where it feels so open to sharing beats and samples and ideas and tips and tricks. And because of the way that it works, there's not one way to do everything. You know, a lot of people use the resample method, but you don't have to. You can do anything you want with it, and everybody is just like, yeah, you go off. And those are kind of the key points I, I wanted to bring up. Um, I'll probably do some more in-depth stuff on it in the future, but I just wanted to lay out some groundwork for what I immediately loved about the SP404 and what's been what's been helping me use it more. And I think that that's probably the biggest thing is when an instrument is ready to be used anytime you are, that's the most important part of having an instrument. So that's it for the video. Um, before I go, I just want to bring up, I have a Patreon. I'm doing this full time, so any support is appreciated. For now, I'm trying to get the ball rolling so that everybody has access to early access content, as well as songs that are part of videos and not really just releases on their own. Hopefully you guys see me on Patreon. Um, and I guess until next time, thanks so much for watching. Bye bye.